hey boys and girls, yesterday or the other day, um, we were talking about um, how much you guys have learned over this whole school year and how smart you guys have gotten. And um, I'm just so, so proud of how much you guys have learned throughout this year of kindergarten. And I'm kind of sad that we don't get to play all the games that I've been teaching you because I think we would have a super big fun um, in our classroom playing these games. And I'm certainly, guys, thank you for making me teach you guys how to play these games because now I have some games that I can play with my kids. Um, and I kind of wish I had a kindergartner at home that I could play these games with over the summertime because they are so much fun. The other day we talked about um, a fun game that you guys all know how to play. It's called hide and seek, right? But instead of hiding and seeking and you hiding, we decided that we were going to play hide and seek with snap words. And so remember when we did that, we had to pick out some snap words, not all of them because that's a lot of snap words, right? But pick out like five or ten and then you hide them, then you write them on a piece of paper, and then you hide them around the house, and then you get somebody to find them. So that's one of the games that I have taught you guys how to play, that one just recently. But we've learned lots of other games throughout this whole time of being apart. Okay, so one of the other games that we taught you guys how to play is called Vowel Hunt, where you pick a vowel, right? You go find something with that vowel in it, in the middle of it, then you spell it, and then you say a different vowel. So you can get your mom and dad to play vowel hunt with you, right? Or syllable hunt, right? Where you pick a number of syllable count, and then you um, say it, like find something with two syllables, and then you run around the house and you find something, right? And then you write it. Remember that when you write it, and if it has more than one syllable, it needs to have that many vowels. So like if it has two syllables, it needs two vowels. If it has three syllables, it needs three vowels. And then you pick a different one. Okay. So what I thought guys, that might be really fun to do is, Ooh, hold on a minute. I just thought of something. One of the games that we didn't talk about, but one that I thought maybe we could play is instead of vowel hunt, maybe you could do a blend and diagraph hunt. And so instead of picking a vowel, right? You pick a blend or diagraph that you like, right? You find something with that blend or diagraph, not in the middle. So like you might say, mom might say flower and you run around the house and find something with a fluff fluff sound. Or I might say shh and you run around and find something with that shh sound. Then you spell or write it and then you say a different one. So we have blend and diagraph hunts. So let me show you what we're going to do. Okay. So what you guys can do over the summertime to help you guys rem you know, make sure that you're using those special blends and diagraphs is we can do what I want to call playing with phonics. So we can play with phonics, okay? So you can't see that really well. Let me see if I can, there we go. There we go. We can play with phonics. So what I thought we might could do is take our little games, like we can play vowel hunt over the summertime, right? to make sure that we're using our vowels in the middle of our words like we're supposed to, right? Or you can play blend and diagraph hunt because it's important for first grade that making sure that we're using and um, finding blends and diagraphs. So like sh, ch, and th, making sure that we're using them and that when we see them, we know what they sound like. So making sure we practice our vowels, making sure we practice our blends and diagraphs. You can also do this because anytime, guys, you write, it's important, right? Anytime you're writing, you need to make sure that you're writing the words the right way and the way that you hear them, okay? So you can play a game of labeling around the house. This is important because it's just one little word and you can label things in the house, okay? Then you could play syllable hunt, right? Just like I showed you, right? So you can play syllable hunt or you can play hide and seek with snap words. The biggest thing is during the summertime, like have fun, yes, go outside and play and go swimming and all those fun things, but you can also play and learn at the same time. So when you're working over the summertime and when you're bored and you don't have anything to do, you can um, say, hmm, I remember when Miss Humphreys taught me how to play vowel hunt and you can go get mom and dad and you could say, can we play a game of vowel hunt? 
right? Because it's always going to be in your Google Classroom and you can remember how to do that. All right, boys and girls, I love you so much and I hope that you keep working hard over the summertime because I really want your first grade teachers to know just how smart you guys are. I love you big. Bye.